Big day tomorrow in Iowa and Nebraska, the opening of the Highway 34 bridge that connects Mills County, Iowa to Sarpy County, Nebraska. Bob, while that bridge was under construction, people who live around the area had to deal with some growing pains. John Chapman continues our coverage. We're on Highway 34 and 195th Street in Mills County. This intersection has gone through some changes over the last few months, and people who live around here say those changes have caused some accidents. Traffic can move pretty fast along Highway 34. Some of these lanes were shut down while workers constructed the Highway 34 bridge that connects Iowa to Nebraska. Motorists did adapt to the change, but when all the lanes reopened, there were crashes at this intersection, lots of them. People who live around here blame it on the construction. From the construction, you'd roll out into the median to get to where you needed to go, crossing traffic that they had to shut off. Now that is all opened back up, People aren't used to aren't used to being back the way that it was. It, it's yeah, it was just a, a simple change of everything. The public isn't quite readjusting to that 195th to 34 intersection as they were before. So we do have some problems there. Now all lanes are open on Highway 34. Cross traffic does not stop, and you need to stop here instead of at the median. Now state and county officials are working together to give motorists a heads up when approaching Highway 34 on 195th Street. So in the last several days, uh, uh, local authorities uh, did get with the Department of Transportation representatives, and uh, they did put a temporary stop sign at the uh, 195th and 34 intersection, uh, right there at the 195th entry into 34, to hopefully uh, raise the awareness and have people uh, uh, know that that is a stop area and to proceed with caution. Hopefully the extra warning signs and the rumble strips will remind motorists that things are back to normal on Highway 34, and you need to be careful if you're crossing four lanes of traffic. With photographer Nathan Jank, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News. We did talk to several people in the area who said they thought the accidents were caused by improper signage at the intersection while construction on the bridge was underway. None of them wanted to go on camera.